Hey guys, Jimmy here and welcome back to Gran Turismo 2 for another video. Now in the last episode we did a couple of the American rear wheel drive races, well I think it's just the American races at Laguna Seca. Sort of sucked a bit there, bit of a struggle but we got through them in the end. Today we're going to be doing some compact car races or smaller car races, um, which means we need another car again. Like um, This episode is going to be races, races and the next episode is going to be doing the International Sea Licence because it's the 10th episode so I want to try and make a bit more progress there. For the next episode that is this is the ninth and uh i've already picked a car we're going to choose i went and got a bit of money because i needed to uh, have a little bit of money before um buying this car and uh it needs to be small needs to be front wheel drive i think i said it doesn't need to be front wheel drive but it needs to be small anyway so i thought let's take the 206 because 206 boys oh yeah and we're gonna go in that classic 206 color that i hate the most there it is that weird ass blue that everyone hates there you go, there is our 206, this is going to be our challenger for this episode uh, anyway. And uh, we have 1,700 credits left to spend, so we have a, we're have quite underneath the horsepower limit, so what I'm going to do is just very quickly pop a couple of little bits on there. I'm probably going to just put on the uh, the chip and the flywheel, because uh, that seems to be the fastest way of doing things. I have no idea why I've exited the city. Well that's that done, uh, we're now at the Compact Car World Cup, as you can see we have an upper horsepower limit of 246, we're somewhere around 146 I think, so about 100 horsepower underneath that limit, but I'm fairly confident we should be able to overcome because 206 boys, let's get on with it. So first race in the 206, starting in the back of the grid in that hideous blue that I hate so much. Only upgrade we've got is the uh, computer chip or ECU upgrade, which basically means we have a little bit more horsepower. But otherwise, this is pretty much a stock 206. Now, I don't have particularly high hopes for this racing, as already we are falling behind. It looks like to be a, a Clio in front of us, from what I can see to the left there. But we're at Rome, uh, the short circuit, so we're going to try and use that uh, sexy 206 cornering that this definitely has, and will have, hopefully, as I come to the first actual real corner of this. That's a 106 in front of us. Oh dear, front wheel drive. I think that's a bit of understeer there. Oh, I didn't want to clip that wall. That really slowed me down. Now, heavy-ish braking. Oh, car not wanting to turn at all. The 106 rally in front of us having issues. and actually blocking us. Get out of the way. Oh, no, that's really slowed us down. That's going to... We would have otherwise sort of launched up between the uh, the first two. Hopefully, we'll be able to catch him again. Let's see if I can get a nice little cheeky bump draft in this Clio. No, he's not giving it to me. Can we reach 100 mile an hour before braking? I don't think we're going to be able to. Nope. Brake. Oh, that 106 on the inside. Fast little thing, isn't it? I should have bought one, both into the 206. Really a big fan of the 106 Rally, I think it's an awesome car, but uh, I took the 206 for, for the memes, for the self-created memes. So fourth by end of the first half, I think we can still win this. I think it's going to be a, it's gonna be difficult, but I think we still have uh, we have enough time to make up the time. What's that in front there? The car going slowly, it's like a Daihatsu or something, it's sort of hard to make out. There is a, uh, a key car, or a K car race, which I'm interested in doing um i can actually enter it if any car i want as long as it is underneath the horsepower requirement same for this but what i'm going to be trying to do is um oh my god it happened again what i'm going to be trying to do is doing it in the cars that are meant to be or that i'm racing against i don't want to sort of take a take my mx5 for example on this race because i would just win really easily it's more fun to sort of go get a car which uh, suits this race and then try and beat it that way but isn't looking good for us, to be fair, at this point. And that really isn't going to help. Oh wow, this has been a very bad first race for us. Looks like we're going to have to redo this one. Let's have some sort of miraculous last corner. Which we don't. Absolutely no grip at the front there. There you go, our first race in the 206 is not a good one. We end up coming home. Nearly beaten by is that a Prius, but anyway, coming home in fourth place. So, <sighs> let's do it again. Okay, I managed to get the lead on the second lap. I'm gonna try and defend the inside here. The AI really like to dive down and make your life hell. I'm gonna try and just do that and avoid having anyone overtake me. Down to second gear. Very close to coming up to the corner. I might get shoved out. Why if I don't get this absolutely perfect? Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's okay. Should be enough though to get us through to the win. 206 boys, first win in 206, although it is very close and only just from what, like a 1.2 Lance here, so this car, it needs some work. Do we actually receive a new car from doing that? I'm interested to see what we got. Let's go back to home and see what we got then, shall we? It is a, oh no, it's a Yaris. 
99 Yaris. Oh god, look at that. Oh, it's hideous. Ah! Ah, get out. Sell it. Sell it! Okay, so we sold that. And what I'm going to do now with this 8 grand is, um... I think this thing needs some power, basically, because we are really falling behind everywhere. It's, it took me a couple of attempts to do that race. It was quite difficult to sort of get into a position where I actually could win the race. So what I'm going to do is do what everyone always does in Gran Turismo when they panic and haven't got enough power. And put a turbo on. There you go, look. We're now putting out 200 horsepower through the front wheels. Anything else that we can very quickly do. We're also going to do the stage one weight reduction as well just to make it into a racing car now it's a racing car we've taken the back seats out it's now a racing car that's the rules and uh yeah we're going to go back to the uh little compact cup and now we're going to be doing seattle short i believe it is which is a track we haven't seen yet in this little playthrough so uh get ready for a treat oh seattle um i've not actually driven here myself for a very long time so i'm sort of uh trying to remember how the track goes but i've got a mini map i've got the ai cars Hopefully I'll get round in one piece. And we've got that mad turbo now. Look at the boost. There it is. Slow for live and the boost hits. And we are forced into the back of our seats. Key one coming up is a hairpin from what I remember. A bit of a wider hairpin actually. A bit slow in the acceleration once we get rolling. 206 is unstoppable. Oh! Trying to squeeze. I think that's a... What is that? That's a Lancia again. I'm going to squeeze a Lancia out. In the faster cars you get air over these bumps, and these cars not so much. Oh, jeez. Lots of right angle corners in this. It's a, very much a street circuit. Controlling that very odd oversteer you get from having uh, not really any grip on the car. And it being a bit lighter at the back, obviously, because we've done a little R weight reduction as well. I really don't remember this course. I remember the long version of it, not this version. Well, there is a hairpin coming up uh, pretty long straight now, so that'll be good for us. Stretch the legs on the 206, see what sort of speed we're capable of. And I guess about 110 by end the straight, probably. Done, Turbo, do your thing. There it is, there's the boost. Later, guys. Look at that, they're actually not really falling back that far. Not quite 110. 108 or so, maybe because I got 110 if I was a bit more, a bit braver on the brakes, but I went wide anyway, so probably best I didn't. Oh, losing three positions there, four positions. That's why you don't try and uh, outbreak yourself with a 206, it will bite you. It's a fine racing machine, this. Through the middle, getting that turbo going. Oh, Grand Trust went past. Oh, everyone's getting bumped about. Screw you, little micro. Front wheel drive being dragged around. Oh, went wide there, went very wide. Get back into position really because once we get onto the straight, those are the, re the results pretty much decided even with this turbo. It needs a bit of time to spool up. Oh, didn't want that to happen. The last corner now, hairpin coming up. I think this is the Clio we're going. Well, Mercedes, I can't really tell <laughs> the model's not that great. And that's that Lance here again. Our bane, the 1.2 Lancia versus the Turbo 206. Come on, 206! What? What? Are you joking? It's a 1.2, and it beat us in a straight line. I don't understand. Right, okay, this time I'm confident we're far enough ahead now. I think to take this victory. Oh no! Why into the last corner? Please no! Please no! It's the Clio. The Clio comes up the inside. Come on, no! What the hell was that about? No, oh, Jesus Christ, I suck at this game. You know what? I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to have to be pressured into doing this, but you made me do this, Renault Clio. And shitty Lancia. This is your fault. Now the rest will have to suffer. That's right. You don't send in a 206 to do a Beatles work. Go Beetle! Oh Beetle, don't let me down now! Don't let me down now Beetle! Don't let me down now! Yes! That is why you don't mess with the Beetle baby! Thanks for win! Show me the money! Show me the prize car! Oh I wonder what it's gonna be! I bet it's something very exciting! 
Survey says... It's a Cleo. Goddamn Cleo. I really love Cleos, you know, got... Lord. Okay, right, 10 grand um, to spend on making a car better. The funny thing is, um, I'm pretty sure this Beetle has the most power out of all my cars that I've actually tuned myself. I know that a Stingray has, sorry, I'm lying. But that's American, it doesn't count. That's 276 horsepower. It's got the most horsepower out of any car I have. That is sort of the game that I'm playing right now. Tuning the car to the minimum possible requisition and then um, sort of taking it from there. So we have a 10 grand. I am going to continue with the Beetle because the next race is going to be a little bit harder because a bit more horsepower requirement. I'm going to do see if I can do any couple of, uh, any mods for this money. And then we're going to jump straight into that last race and hopefully win it first time. Right, so we bought some semi-racing suspension for the Beetle, so hopefully now it's going to be completely glued to the road. It's got racing hard tyres, um, it's got new brakes, it's got the new suspension as well, got some, uh, got a decent sized turbo on there. We're still about a hundred, well, about 90 horsepower underneath the complete limit of this race, but I'm confident we can win it. Autumn Ring, let's go. Here we are then, the Racing Beetle. Versus the finest of the finest compact cars. Apparently 295 horsepower is the limit. I can't see anything on the grid that has anything like that sort of power, yet we are being outdragged by a Mazda Demio on the left. Tune, no doubt. So this is a bit of a longer track, so we've got to get used to it. I haven't raced this one for a while. Last time I drove it, that was in Gran Turismo 5, I believe, probably. It's some sort of Super GT car. Yaris on the inside, and that infamous Lancia. Ugh. Over the curbs. A bit of a shame the 206 didn't last very long, but I really wasn't enjoying it. It was really hard to drive. It was already pre-tuned to be a speedster, and it's sort of compact if you... That's not really, is it? But it doesn't matter. Brake hard. Oh! Nice little Lancer on the inside there. Making my life hell. I'm struggling a bit here. Getting in fifth place. Make up a couple of positions there for the left-hander, and now for this... Decreasing radius becomes a uh, oh Jesus! Why am I spinning there? Figure eight here going on. Uh, oh, Grand Turismo pass! It's so strong. GG Yaris. Getting that in the lead uh, towards the end of the lap now. A couple of fast corners. It's always really difficult to do in the slower speed car, so You haven't quite got the grip to hold on. I like that Yaris there. Look at that grip the Yaris has got. Coming on wide there, a little bit of a kink at the end, no, no need to break anything through here, just pure acceleration and now that's one lap complete. There's a crowd in the background there full of M&Ms going absolutely crazy. Lap 2, 107 mile an hour for breaking for T1, waiting for them to come up the inside. Oh, get a bit of a tap from behind, come on now. Oh, big tap for the exit of the corner there. Getting loose there as all the power goes through the front wheels and those racing hard tyres just can't handle the raw power of 200. 200 of beetle power. Got a bit of a gap, which is nice. Things are sending these lower speed corners that the AI really catch up. Yeah, they um, almost four wheel drifting for some reason. It's like I have four wheel drive as opposed to front wheel drive, but. I'm not going to complain too much I'm still in the race. Now I've got to be careful around here. Car likes to sort of slide a bit because of the nature of the corner. Cam is very strange there and here. No one to use for a Gran Turismo pass. So I'm going to have to do it the proper way and lose a bunch of time. Hug on the inside for the best possible line. Watching out for that Lancia behind us. Looks like it's made a bit of progress. Lancia is like the embodiment of fear for me in this game. There you go. Oh, here it comes. I'm scared. We should be okay though now. Last stretch, no one in sight. There you go. Beetle wins the 295 horsepower race first time. And that is us done for this video. I wonder what our prize card is going to be for this grand event at the end. I wonder what amazing supercar we've been given for completing all the compact races. It is a 1.4 Lupo. Absolutely fantastic. Bye bye, Mr. Lupo. Gordon Abbans. Well then, guys, that was an interesting episode. The 206 didn't prove to be uh, as good as we needed it to be. Um, we had to rely on the old Beetle, which did the job in the end as it always does. So uh, Beetle redeemed itself after its horrendous loss in that rally, and I think in episode 7, I think it was. 
In the next episode, we'll be doing the International Sea License and hopefully all golding that so we can move on to some of the uh, the faster races. Because I, I don't know about you guys, but I want to get some power behind those wheels now. 200 isn't enough. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. Thank you very much, Aeroplane, for viewing the outro of my video. Oh, by the way, I'm sort of trialling an end slate now. So um, stick around for that. It's got um, a couple of videos in. Also, it's going to have a really awesome cover of the Gran Turismo home theme by my brother Matt. He's awesome on guitar, so I thought let's try and bring him in somehow. So take a listen to the last minute and a half of this video. It's going to be really awesome. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Have an awesome day. <laughs>